Welcome to Draugen. This is an adventure game set in the 1920s in Norway. We and our young ward Lissy, we being the character on the right there in the glasses and our young ward on the left, we travel to the remote island of Grovik in Norway, looking for our sister who we haven't heard from in a while. It's made by Red Thread Games, which you might know as the people behind the Dreamfall Chapters series. This is their first game after the Dreamfall Chapters series. I'm not sure if this is a horror game, really. I think it's more of an adventure game, but I do think it has horror leanings. It's about the darker sides of Norwegian folklore. And Red Thread Games, the studio, is themselves Norwegian-based, by the way. I've played for just a couple minutes, just the opening cutscene pretty much, just to check settings and things like that. Let's begin the new game. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh... What did you call this village? Gravelick? Grovik. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Greywoak? She never said. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about- but That's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, Little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine, I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear, Edward, we will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase Norway. her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate, like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. <laughs> it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet and... you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last... Wait. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch no, out don't for... Don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just... Stay close. As long as you keep up with me. Uh. Dear Mr. Harton, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. 
trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also, sprach Zarathustra. On my way. Right oh. Step to it, teddy bear. Right button to locate Lissy. I love that there's literally a locate Lissy button. <laughs> like they're gonna get away from us so often that we just need to scream for them all the time. Alice! I'm up at the farm. Alice? Also, can't help but think of press, press X to Jason when I do that. Lissy! I'm waiting for you at the farm! So we've been invited to somebody's house here. While we look for our sister, Betty. And our character mentioned... I don't actually remember our character's name, to be honest. But our character mentioned that uh, Betty has an editor back in New York, so I assume Betty is a journalist or a book writer or something like that. Perhaps came here for research? Okay, I just I want to explore everything around here, but let's try to stay focused to begin with, and then I'll explore the island. It's beautiful. Ah, right, we're Edward. Frederick Fretland and Son. Let's rest, we just rode a lot. Are you coming? Just taking a break. Hurry up! Storm's getting closer. Really is beautiful here. And the music's fantastic. If I remember right, I think this game has a fully functional day-night slash weather system. Maybe both, I'm not quite sure. But I think I saw, saw them talking about that on Twitter. Another rest. Yeah. This is a brutal hill to climb up. Still a ways up there. I don't think I'll take that rest. Let's keep pushing. I like that we can't. We can't sprint or anything like that. It's kind of forcing us to just take it in 
slowly. And it's also the beginning kind of credit sequence all at the same time. Kind of just forcing you to just slow down and really look at the place to begin with and not just run to the quest markers. I assume we'll be able to sprint later. Damn, what a beautiful house. Seriously? <laughs> the one carrying a suitcase. I've got heavy documents in here. Come on. I have at least three letters. So long. I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half mast. Someone died. Oh. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? This is starting to creep me out. They huh? might be out fishing. Well, we didn't see any boats, did we? If they are out in the fjord, they'll have to come in soon. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Man, that's so beautiful. I love everything that I'm seeing and hearing right now. The wind and the light rain drizzling. The flag and the trees and everything's moving with the wind. I think, yeah, the clouds are even moving too. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. Yeah, we were invited. I doubt they have a hotel here anyway, so we kind of need to take shelter. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide-and-go-seek. Everybody on the island? <laughs> I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. I guess it's not that odd that the door's unlocked, really? I mean, a small island like this. I presume everybody knows each other. Probably be pretty normal to leave the doors unlocked. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. Look! Family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands? What's on the tip of my tongue? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and... John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Press when Lissy is nearby to talk. Oh, so locate them if you're far away, and if you're close, then we talk. It's an interesting dialogue system. You get this, like, cloud of up to four options. 
that you press with the, the face buttons. I'm playing on a controller, by the way. I'm not sure what those would be if I was on a mouse. But you press them, but sometimes you can just... Um, you have to hold them down to actually make the dialogue progress and to actually say the thing. But if you just tap it, sometimes there's a description for what you're going to say. Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't Anna Fretland have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. Yeah, no email. Everything's so slow. Communication. Yeah. Yeah, like this. No description for these, but... It's an interesting system. I don't think I've ever quite seen that before. Old Johan's a bit wooden, isn't he? Like someone put a stick They're up, posing his, for a up photograph. his rear end. I say, loosen up, Johan! I'm sure you two stiffs will get along famously. I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. I love Lissy. She's fantastic. <laughs> I kind of wish I was playing her. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice, please. What can I say? She's a minx. Anna Fretland is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? It must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. I can relate. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. I love that I can look outside and I can hear the rain and the wind, but it's all muted. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half-mast, but no sign of life out there. Where do you think they've gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensens, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a dead land. As though its soul has departed. Definitely getting strong horror vibes from the beginning, huh? This place is pretty, but things feel very wrong. It's really coming down. How about a quick run in the rain? You can't be serious. You're already a wet blanket, teddy bear. It's not like you'll get any wetter. You can see the whole village from up here. Do you want to go sightseeing? Tomorrow. It's getting late, and the rain's not abating. It seems like it's very, very blatant with what's interactable, or interactive, I think is a better word, and what's not. Yeah, you see these little interaction points pop up when you're pretty far away, just if you're kind of looking in the general direction. So it's really easy to tell if it's worth, you know, trying to look super up close for every little interaction thing. Except that, that was a little bit hard, because you kind of have to see it from this side for it to pop up. Dear Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be arriving. So where are they? Do they even have calendars? Maybe they don't know what day it is. Despite appearances, we haven't gone back in time. They have calendars. <laughs> Home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, teddy bear. I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna... Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. So they were a reporter. Yeah, definitely came here chasing a lead or something. <sighs> The thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. 
Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide open wilderness. <laughs> Lizzie's just something? loving it. No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. Or the churning sea. Or the interminable <sighs> rain. Or flesh eating ghouls waiting to pounce. Alice, honestly. You're the one who reads Poe to me. Don't blame me for having an active imagination. This place would be super exciting, you know, if we're not the one who's arrived in a place we've never been to before looking for our sister and there's nobody around. That's a little concerning, but for her, this would be so exciting. Wait, is that... Are they... It, who's... They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. <laughs> May 26th, 1899. We'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. There's an animal out there. Is that a deer? No, I think that's a goat. Those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. We're definitely going to be going into the mine at some point. Oh yeah, that's where creepy stuff happens in mines. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the abyss, and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. There was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Frederick and Johann Fretland, founders of the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. They're the spitting image of each other. Twin brothers and business partners. And they married twin sisters. Adorable. Who's the boy? He looks related to the other two. Hmm. Newspaper clippings? Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. He might be the boy in the photograph. Yeah. Operations were suspended after the accident. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious, like he knew something was about to go awry. Oof, that's a grim sight, old bean. <laughs> I don't look as old as I 
thought I was. I thought, thought those characters may be 40 or 50, but... I mean, they could be 40. Maybe. I'm exhausted. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. The flag outside was flying at half-mast. What does that mean? Someone died. It'll get dark soon. Where will you sleep? There must be a guest bedroom. I'm not using their beds without invitation. We can disguise ourselves as bedware. They'll never know we're here. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Is that her scarf? I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just looks like- She bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No, I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. I'm a little suspicious about the disagreement about whether this is Betty's or not. They both remember differently. I mean, memory isn't perfect. It could just be nothing, but I wonder if there's something there. Something going on. Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not- She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where has everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. <laughs> yes. Fine. I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill? Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... Going to... Shh. I don't think we're going to have sweet dreams or we're going to wake up to a horror or something. I'm worried. Elizabeth? Is that you? Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? I think this is either a bad dream, or maybe Lissy, who knows, could have just gone off adventuring, leaving us here. Wouldn't surprise me. Lissy! Hello? Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth? Wait! Lissy? Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? Are you in here, Lissy? Lissy, are you upstairs? Outside it is then. Who's out there? Hello? Betty? 
Man, is it foggy. Lissy? I'm not alone. Footprint? Hoofprint? I'm not sure. Some sort of a print. I can hear you! Betty? Who goes there? Wait! Someone there? Alice! Hello? <laughs> That's a goat that we saw outside. Betty, is that you? Are you there, Betty? Shit. I love that we had to pick up Listen, our glasses to there? make everything sharp again. We can run. I didn't realize that. Right trigger. Alice, where are you? The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Lissy. Is this actually happening then? Is this not a dream? What about the boat? It's gone. The boat? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I, I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Where did you go? Out? For a walk. It stopped raining Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty... It was Betty. I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? And yes! Not... I... I mean... I saw her face, and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? I don't... I don't know. Uh... It's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day. Take care. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on.
clear skies. I will find you again. How do I look now? Did I get the mud off my face? Yeah, we're good. Teddy, come outside. It's a beautiful day. I just about given up on you ever waking Ooh. up. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden. And she called for me. How about you, Lissy dearest? Oh, you know me, old fruit. Wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. I... Like, let's look at these. He's still confused about the events what? of the previous night, what was real and what was imagined. Oh, are these conversation dialogue choices? Are these from Lizzie's perspective? You were about to say something. I'd just woken up. I was groggy and the mist was thick as pea soup. I don't know if I saw what I thought I saw. You were chasing a ghost? I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Well, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're keeping an eye on us from out in the fjord. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. <laughs> okay. Let's uncover your secrets, Grovik. Ah, we have a map. I think we're through the prologue, basically. Grovik. And here's all the notes we found. Ah, cool. We can look at it in a text that's actually readable to me. Because <laughs> I don't know how many of you know this, but I can't really read cursive. Is it only that one note that's in our journal, though? Because we found a couple more. Newspaper clippings and stuff. Hmm. Well, let's read this one. August 4th, 1923. Dear Mr. Harden, I hope this letter finds you well. My husband, Johan, and I received your letter from July 9th. We would like to extend an invitation to visit our home this October. Do not worry about being an inconvenience, as we have only one child, our daughter Ruth, in plenty of room for a visitor. We were troubled to hear of your sister Elizabeth's disappearance. Unfortunately, I have no news to share, nor do I believe she's landed in Grovik yet. I've made inquiries and shall send you another letter if there's word. I'm certain she's alright, however, and that she's simply been delayed on her journey. In regards to your travels, I'm afraid there's no longer a ferry from... Uh... Olesund to Grovik, so you'll need to find your own transport across the fjord. When you arrive, you'll find our farm on top of the hill. There's a road from the landing and up past the general store. Our farmhouse won't be hard to see. It's the largest house in the village. Please write again when you're settled on your travel plans, or receive word of your sister. My husband and I very much look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. It is amazing how long communications took. This letter was... Well, we sent them a letter on July 9th. And then they sent this back on August 4th, and they invited us here for October. It's just weird to think about. 
wasn't that long ago that, yeah, you just couldn't communicate basically instantly like we do now. Up on the D-pad to view the journal. Okay. Yeah, what do we got as far as controls? Other D-pad does nothing, just up to open the journal. Left trigger to zoom in. Right trigger to jog. Where are you, Lissy? I'm by the village houses. Right button to Jason. And I think that's it. Yeah, the... It is so colorful. My god, this place is gorgeous. See that snow falling over there? Little avalanches, I think. Or maybe that's a stream of water from snow melt? I'm not sure. Looks beautiful, whatever it is. I can't wait to explore this place. I love adventure games where I just get to go around and explore stuff. Let's explore. Get peek through the cracks. It's empty. I want to climb to the top of that mountain. I don't think Edward would, uh, Edward doesn't have the disposition for it, I think. Looks like it's just sitting on some very large stones as a foundation. scene of ourselves drawing. Oh, that's really cool. This reminds me a lot of those places where you could sit down and just kind of chill in Life is Strange. It's very similar. You could just sit down and chill and then you'd get something like this. Where it's third person kind of cutscene from different angles just showing you sitting down, chilling, and the places all around you. It's nice. I like it. I wonder if we get to... Oh, it says press to view my journal. I think that answers my question. We do get to see what we drew, don't we? Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. I want to find all of those places and draw everything. I'm sure there's no monsters down there. Can I go back inside? What if I try to go upstairs? I can just go upstairs. Heck yeah. <laughs> 